Welcome back. Now we're going to discover what kind of mood you like. Moods can be created in a number of ways. Color is a big determinant for creating mood. For example, yellows and oranges are often associated with happiness and lightness and excitement. Purples are associated with grief and tranquility. There's all kinds of associations made with colors. Shape and line can also determine mood. Soft lines create a soft effect, a calming mood. Sharp lines can create excitement. Jagged lines can create irritation or, again, excitement. Blending all of those above is what creates a strong mood effect. Now, if you look at the paint that's peeling, if you put all that together, you're creating what kind of mood? If you look at the bottom with the plants in the pink and the gray, is that calm or exciting? If you look at the glitter from the Christmas card, what do you associate with that mood? This landscape of the river, is that exciting or is it calm? If you look at the plant on the right, is that a happy summer scene or a calm winter scene? If you look at all these little spots of color, these are actually little toothpicks, what do you associate those primary colors with? Usually primary colors are associated with excitement, happiness, summertime, brightness. Now in this somber picture of the kayaker, very simple shapes, very subdued mood. Is that person portraying excitement or calm after a race? Start collecting your favorite moods. Think about how you could create that mood yourself. Not copy it. But use line, for example, like Edvard Munch with the scream. This is a print he did. Just using line, he created the fear factor right there. Below him, Monet created calm with soft blues, soft pinks, very soft yellows. Georgia O'Keeffe below that creates a whole different mood using soft colors as well, but she introduces a harder line. Now that changes the mood. And then Kandinsky with his circles, he's using bright primary colors, and that creates a mood of excitement. If you wanted to take that same concept and create a quiet mood, what would you do? Would you soften the edges? Would you soften the colors? Yes to all of the above. You could create a quiet mood using muted colors with soft lines and still have a calm effect using those shapes. Monet, if he wanted to, if he used bright red, bright green, bright yellow, he'd create a whole different mood using the same technique. Now, find examples in art of your favorites. Put them in your sketchbook and start collecting. We'll see you in the next section.